Another day breaks down with a round of unnatural disasters And your heartbeat pounds and it drowns out the sound of the laughter That comes pouring out, out of the mouths of these bitches and bastards Ground you down pound for pound and put you out to pasture. And then you hear them say it's starting. Well, it's starting. Yeah, it's starting all over again. Now don't you hear them say it's starting? Well, it's starting. Yeah, it's starting all over again. They keep the grindstone. Close to your nose, they won't let you forget it. Like a promissory note that they wrote to show how you've been dead. And the flames and brimstone used to glow, but now they're frozen and set up. And the hopes that rose up eroded before they were level But when the music stops, you're in a state of shock You want the lover's rock, you feel the pressure drop You want the radio to sing your cares away But what worked back then won't work today That's right. Welcome. It's your old pal. It's your boy. It's the Yones. It's my pleasure to be playing here for you this evening. I'm here to let you know that I've got some songs to sing. And before I gotta go, we gotta start all over again. Another day starts up and disrupts all your bitter ambition. Oh, I know it so well. You've got your head bowed down to the ground like a man on a mission. Crowd surrounds you, but you found they're refusing to listen. Mm. And the door stays closed unless you show them some written permission. And then you hear them say, Sodden, well, it's sodden, yeah, it's sodden all over again. Now don't you hear them say, it's sodden. I first got a guitar, instead of getting an acoustic guitar, which is what I feel like most people start with, they start with an acoustic guitar and they start by mm -hmm. plugging out simple melodies. I've always, always wanted to play electric guitar and I always wanted to play loud and I've always been interested in trying to figure out how to make me and my electric guitar sound as full as a full band. I've always wanted to, to, to feel that, that full. Um, so that, that's part of, part of the inspiration has just been the rock bands and the punk bands that I was really into when I was younger. And then the other inspiration, the other kind of driving force is storytelling. That's a big part of my life and plays out in the songs that I write as well. I'm interested in telling stories and I want to use a, a kind of sound that's gonna be as exciting as possible to tell the most 
engaging stories that I know how to tell. Playful person, I like to play, and I've always been interested in, in playing. When I was a kid, I wanted to play. As an adult, I want to play. And this is how I know how to play, you know, by getting to perform. There's not a lot of avenues for adults to continue to play as they get older. So this is, this is you know, they call it playing music. This is me getting to play. And when I get to play, I get hyped up and I have energy. And I, you know, want to, you know, channel it into putting on a good show for people. Time since I let that record spin Since I've heard anything worth listening in Well, you see you only dance when the lights are low With the sound too loud and there's no one home Ain't you tired of dancing on your own? Said I wanna dance you Stealing, spinning on the burned out speaker that was struggling. You never had the bones beneath your skin. Sit, I wanna dance to you, right down to your bones, your bones. I wanna sink my teeth in and break through your skin to your bones. Your I decided to be a songwriter before I had written any songs, before there was any reason to suggest that this is a thing that I could do. I was 15 years old and I just decided, this is who I am. This is what my identity is. I'm a songwriter. Have I written anything? No. Do I know how to play guitar? Absolutely not. Do I have any musical ability? Not as far as I know. But I'm a songwriter and not only that, I'm one of the best. That's, that is what I decided first. And then I had to figure out how to actually make good on that, on that uh, very bold claim that I had made. And it took a lot of trial and error. And I think what it came down to in the process now still when I'm writing songs is, number one, you got to like find a sound that resonates with how you feel. 
you know, and you pick up the guitar and you start strumming and you say, okay, all right, that chord progression, this tone, that, that sounds the way that I feel. And so, okay, let me dig into that a little bit further. And then you find a couple words that suddenly fit that feeling and that, that guitar progression and suddenly it all comes together and then this, this metaphor of pulling the thread, I mean, that's, that's what it is. You just keep pulling at it to see like, okay, what else is there? All right, all right, that didn't work, so let me keep pulling and see what else I can discover. Um, and I would say, yeah, I, 15 was when I made that declaration. I'd say 16, 17, that's when I first was able to do something on a guitar where I could say, oh, that's how I feel. I am making sounds that sound the way I feel. Everybody's proud if they're ready or not to the knees. Everybody's tired if they give it a shot and believe that it'll all work out okay. If they keep a little bit of faith, but if you walk in. After every single album that I've made, I feel like, well, that's it. I'm done. I can't do this again. I don't have it in me anymore. That's it. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I wrote those songs. And I don't know how to do it again. And I'm pretty sure that that's it. I, don't, I'm, I have nothing else to say at this point. 
and it's, you know, yes, do I ever have times where I've run out of inspiration? All of the time. <laughs> it's always a miracle when you can get it together to write one song, and then when you can really start organizing your practice enough so that you can get 10 songs at a time and really start getting an album together, that is, is a mysterious process. Mm -hmm. And no two songs have been written the same way, mm -hmm. not just for me, but I would say for, for any musician, everybody has their own path to find their way into that song that they're trying to write. And then once it's done, it's like, it's like you've had this radio on that's getting a signal from other worlds, beaming straight to you, and you're lucky when you capture the song, and then that's it. It's turned off and you don't know how you get it back again. Last summer, I, I, uh, I, I quit. I officially quit last summer and was like, that's it, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I can't do it anymore. I won't, I won't do it anymore. And I, as far as I was concerned, I was done. You have these little musical ideas, these lyrics that come into your head, this chorus, and you're like, oh, but it'd be cool. It'd be cool to, it'd be cool to record it. It'd be cool to like have it be recorded. That would be cool. I, and I don't need to put it out, just, just, just for me. I don't, nobody needs to hear it. And then as you start working on it, you're like, this is, you know, I, 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 I teeter between two extremes. One is that this is the best stuff I've ever written. This stuff is really good and it deserves to be heard. And I got to put it out. And then the other extreme that I go to just as quickly is, I don't even know what I've made here. I don't think it's music. It sucks. And I, why do I do this? Why am I wasting my time and everyone else's time? These are the two poles that I vacillate between. It's like, I don't really get to choose that. The, the songs are gonna keep happening anyways. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear little bits of music in my head always, forever, for the rest of my life. And I can choose to ignore it, but it's easier for me just to lean into it and let those songs come to the surface and, you know, and actually write them and put them out. Folks, I don't know when you're gonna be watching this. I don't know where you're gonna be watching this. My only hope is that you are watching this. And whenever you're watching this, it's important for me to tell you this, which is, my name is Yoni Gordon. This you know. The other thing, uh, I'm putting out a new record called Courtship. And this is a record that is about dating. I know there's a lot of really good records about heartbreak. And there's a lot of good records that are about new love, satisfying real love, true love. There's not a lot of records that are about that thing, that in-between place of, I don't know you, but I could love you. So I thought I should make a record about that. And this is a song from that record. It's a song that's called My Love. <laughs> I think you get the message I won't believe with the poem I'm trying to express it Without raising my voice Pretty tired of screaming Tired of seeing you making that choice And ignoring your feelings Pretending that you enjoy Is in me right behind the beat. 
sell you a lot This is only conjecture These opinions are mine Gonna leave in a moment I don't need you to make up your mind I just wanted to love you I just wanted to try Some people write music because they find that process to be enjoying, just to, uh, enjoyable just to write. And some people write because they want to have songs that they can go and record. And for them, like being in the studio is their thing. For me, I write music and I record it so that I have new material to play on stage. I, I consider myself to be a songwriter performer, you know? Because performing is what I'm best at, and that's the thing that I live for. It's getting up on stage and figuring out how, how can I connect my songs to whoever is willing to listen to me, and how can I kind of find the show that's in the room and connect to it and bring it to life here in real time for everybody. Dating. Uh, there's a point where you meet someone Maybe you go on a few dates, things seem like they're going well, and then you, you can feel there's usually like a shift away, and it happens, you can only perceive it in the length of time that it takes for them to start to respond to your text messages. That's where you start to really feel the, the cracks in the relationship. And then there comes a point where you get a text message that sounds like it was written by that person's HR department, where they say something very formal to end it. You know, after some careful consideration, I've decided this is no longer the direction I'd like to move in. Uh, I hope you find the connection you're looking for sincerely. And occasionally though, occasionally, you get to be the one that tells that person so long. And so I thought I'd write a song that says roughly those words, so long. You held a vice grip on the bright side of my life I gave you power that I never wielded right I trusted when you said it all would work out fine But it can't, because it don't Because we've been through this all before I took a shower just to clean my dirty Stop. It's been enough so long. Something was safe, but now we
Courtship sort of came about uh, born out of living through the pandemic. You know, I think like a lot of people, I was experiencing isolation and loneliness. And I didn't really want to write about those things as they relate to living through a pandemic. I didn't feel I didn't feel like that was going to be the most upbeat record to put out. And also, I didn't think it would be the most relatable either. You know, eventually, hopefully, living under a pandemic is going to kind of fade into the rear view of our lives. And that won't take up as much space. But I still wanted to write about that loneliness and that isolation. And I thought, OK, well, what's another topic that allows you to explore loneliness and isolation? Dating. You know, that's just kind of where it it went. And I was doing a lot of dating as well, uh, like leading up to the pandemic. And then like a lot of people suddenly was just incredibly alone mm -hmm. when I didn't have my son in my house. Then uh, it was just a very, very alone time. And um, I wanted to figure out how to explore that topic musically and started pulling from my own experiences dating started pulling from stories that friends of mine had had, uh, you know, through their, their trials and tribulations as, as adults dating. And it also kind of, the, the, that, that style of storytelling lent itself really nicely to the kind of sounds that I wanted to make, which are a lot less rock-driven sounds, a lot less guitar-driven, and a lot more beat-heavy and drawing on top 40 stuff, a lot, of, a lot of pop music influence that went into this record. Um, and, you know, if you listen to top 40 music, it is, it is taking, pop music is taking everyday experiencing, experiences and elevating them to high drama. And dating is that. It's this thing, everybody does it. We all are alone people that butt up against each other to try to be less alone. And then we go our separate ways. We know each other for a little while. Then we don't know each other anymore. Then we ignore each other. Our feelings are hurt. Then we get over it. We go to therapy. We talk to friends. We go out for drinks. We meet people. We have one night stands. We have two night stands. We hook up. We have like ongoing things with people who don't give us enough of the love and attention that we want. And that happens all the time, every day with so many people that's high drama, <laughs> you know, that's the stuff of high drama. So I wanted to really elevate that to a place where it said, let's, let's look at what it is to be dating, to put yourself out there, to be vulnerable, and to try to know other people in the hopes that you can be less alone. Don't wanna play 
Yeah, I think, well, so I think that I came to a conclusion that probably a lot of people who are much wiser than me have already come to, which is this, that if you're trying to be less alone and less lonely, there's only one person that can make you feel less alone. And they're not on Tinder and they're not on Bumble, it's you. You have to be able to get right with yourself before you can get right with anybody else. And that's ultimately where the record ends up as well. That's sort of the, the note that I try to resolve everything on. That you can go out there, you can try to be less alone with another person who's lonely, but that's not going to necessarily scratch the itch that you've got. You've got to figure out how to get right within before you can get right with another person. The last song in the record uh, is called uh, I Never Learned to Let Myself Be Loved. And that's what that whole song is about you know it's just about it's it, it is less about somebody being in love with you and it's more about allowing yourself to get to a place where you're able to receive that love that you are a whole enough person to really be able to accept that love it's a hard thing to do you know it's you're lucky if you get it when you're a kid and your parents love you and you're lucky if you feel it then and then when you think about trying to cultivate that with a stranger that you meet through a device on your phone that operates the same way that if you were trying to order a pizza, you know, like, you think, why would this technology ever let you be less alone? I don't know how we've all come to think that this is going to work out for anybody. And yet, sometimes it does, you know, but not without, I, I believe, not without there being two people involved who have who have done the work and are ready to, you know, really let themselves be known.
If you want to follow me on the socials, go to Instagram, go to at Yoni Gordoni, that's Y-O-N-I-G-O-R-D-O-N-I, that's my handle. Um, follow me there. You can follow me on Spotify, but I'll tell you, this new record, I'm not putting it on Spotify for at least three months after I've released the record because I want people to pay me for it. <laughs> and they won't do that if it's on Spotify. Uh, so as much as I want people to hear it, I've decided to try to take a different approach to it this time, which is I'm using Kickstarter to do a pre-sale, essentially, for the record. So if people want to hear it, then I really encourage them to go to my Kickstarter, which they can find the links on my socials, um, and you know, prepay for the record so that we can channel that money into all the things that we need to pay for now, which is mixing and mastering. And so, yeah, I would love. And then if you just, if you're a patron of the arts and you want to find a way to support the arts and hopefully you feel like my voice is important enough to be included in that bigger conversation, then donate more than just the, the album cost. Donate $100. Give me $1,000. Give me 5000 I'll take it. I'll, I'll put it to use. It was seven o'clock when the first of my thoughts started to drift away. Back to the arrows and slings and all the terrible things that happen every day. Between the blood and the guts, it's like a kick in the nuts, but you can chug it off. You got it under your thumb, but don't pretend to be dumb when you can turn it off. Take it away. Hear the song of the summer starting to play. Lower the shade. I want to see you in my bed every night and I think Maybe going inside every night from the left and the right I get another speech. But I don't understand how the promise of man is always out of reach. It was 11 o'clock when the radio stopped in the year went dead. Oh, but the summer goes on just as long as the song gets stuck somewhere deep in your head. Take it away. I hear the song of the summer starting to play. Low with the shade. I want to see you in my bed every night and all day. Take it away. I hear the song of the summer starting to play. Maybe going insane. Up with the coffee and cup, you start to sweat it out. But the news on your feed was like a feverish dream you can't forget about. And I could bite off my 
my tongue, I'll be willfully dumb to every tragedy. But as bad as it's been with the news coming in, it was worse than I was imagining. Take it away. I hear the song of the summer starting to play. Lower the shade. I want to stay in my bed every night and all day. Take it away. I hear the song of the summer starting to play. Lower the shade. I want to stay in my bed every night and all day. Take it away. The song of the summer starting to play Lower the shade I wanna stay in my bed every night And I'll take maybe going insane 